My name is Kevin Anderson. I hold a PhD in microbiology with specialization in proteins and DNA. I am currently the director of the Van Andel Creation Research Center, which is under the ownership and operation of the Creation Research Society. It's a society of scientists and like-minded uh, non-scientists who believe in the inerrancy of Scripture, the authority of Scripture, and that God created, He created as He said He did in the book of Genesis, and He created not that many thousands of years ago. So we would refer to ourselves many times as biblical creationists. A number of years ago, uh, a group of researchers led by a scientist named Mary Schweitzer published some work where they identified the presence of soft, pliable, stretchable tissue still inside dinosaur fossils. Added to that, they found small fragments of various proteins, such as collagen and actin, also in the dinosaur fossils. The Creation Research Society decided that we wanted to become part of this research as well, so we started what we call our iDino project. The iDino project is studying from a creationist perspective this soft tissue. We found soft tissue in several fossils ourselves. We've also published in secular journals our findings and we're currently now investigating some of the explanations that evolutionists are using to try to explain why there's still soft tissue. Anybody that understands biology, understands protein chemistry, recognizes Biological systems, cells, tissue, proteins break down very rapidly and you really don't have any explanation of how they're going to be still inside a fossil that you're dating at 70, 80, 100 million years. Oftentimes creationists are criticized for misinterpreting the presence of the soft tissue in the dinosaur fossils. To say, well, you creationists don't understand what the data means. You don't understand what the, what the analysis is showing. And my response is, well, what else would the data show? What is a better explanation than these fossils obviously are not tens of millions of years old? If dinosaur fossils have been misdated, then all fossils have been misdated. If all fossils have been misdated, then all the rocks have been misdated, and their entire geologic time scale comes crashing down. Then what you're left with is that most of these fossils and rocks formed very recently, relatively speaking, at the same time by a worldwide flood. You don't have to check your brain at the door. You don't have to somehow look the other way. You don't have to somehow pretend that this is what the data says. The data is very obvious. The interpretations are very clear. All you have to do is just simply be willing to look, willing to face the truth, and that is that God is real. He created and He left His mark on His creation everywhere. From the biggest of the big to the smallest of the small, God's mark is there.